Having logged over 100 seasons of intercollegiate competition, Army hockey has established itself as one of the nation's oldest and most respected programs. In 2005, Army became only the 13th school in NCAA history to register 1,000 victories, and that success has continued in the years since. In 2008, Army won the Atlantic Hockey regular season title, and 2009 saw the Black Knights add another Atlantic Hockey Tournament quarterfinal appearance to their resume. From 2006 to 2009, the Army team compiled almost 50 wins and placed itself among the elite in the AHA. But it's more than just hockey. Here at West Point, it's also about being a cadet and how they represent themselves away from the rink, and we've been very fortunate uh, throughout the career of the Army hockey program to have great representatives of this program, and uh, all the credit of our success certainly goes to the young men that put on the Army uniforms here. Over the last couple seasons, we've shown that we can play with the very best teams in this league. Uh, winning a championship a couple years ago was, was a, a tremendous accomplishment for us. And, and that's our goal now, year in and year out, is to field a team that's uh, capable of competing for the, the title in this league. Not only do the Black Knights mix it up with the best in Atlantic hockey, but they also face stiff competition in the non-conference portion of their schedule. 2009 saw the Black Knights upset number two Miami of Ohio at the Ohio Hockey Classic, and in recent seasons, Army has faced off with the likes of Cornell, Notre Dame, Bemidji State, and Colgate. Well, I, I think if you were to ask any of our players, they want to have the opportunity to play against the best, and, and certainly from a coaching standpoint, um, we don't try to shy away from uh, uh, any tough games because I think uh, each season is a process, and. and by playing the top teams in the league, it will hopefully go a long ways to helping your team develop during the course of the year and ultimately put you in a position where you're playing your best hockey coming down the stretch. And, um... Within the conference, Army faces such opponents as Service Academy rival Air Force, RIT, Mercyhurst, and Holy Cross. Several Black Knights have been honored by the conference in recent years. In 2008, Army dominated the AHA awards with goaltender Josh Castle being named Conference Player of the Year and defenseman Zach McKelvey earning top defender honors. Forward Luke Flecheck joined Castle and McKelvey on the all-conference first team while Owen Meyer was a second team selection. Head coach Brian Riley also won his third Coach of the Year award. In addition, Castle was a 2008 second team All-American and Flecheck, McKelvey and goaltender Brad Roberts have represented Army in the NCAA Frozen Four Skills Challenge in the past few seasons. Army's home games have seen quite a change in scenery over the past hundred years. From playing outside in the early 1900s to Old Smith Rink to today, the Academy has offered the Black Knights a variety of home rinks. The team's current home ice surface can be found at Tate Rink, which is located inside West Point's Hollider Center. Located next to Mikey Stadium, the 131,000 square foot building was completed in October of 1985 and is home to not only the rink itself, but to the hockey offices, locker room, team room, and athletic training facilities. With the capacity to seat over 2,500 spectators, Tate Rink continues to attract fans in record numbers. It has also provided the Black Knights with a stellar home ice advantage. Since the facility's opening, the Black Knights have compiled a winning percentage of over 600 in front of the hometown crowd. Tate Rink has also played host to several National Hockey League teams over the past few years. The New York Rangers, Pittsburgh Penguins, Philadelphia Flyers, and Florida Panthers have all trained and practiced at West Point. In addition to Tate Rink, West Point boasts some of the finest athletics facilities in the nation, including the O'Meara, Malik, and Dawkins Class of 1959 Strength Development Center. Located on the second floor of the Kimsey Center, directly across the street from the Hollider Center, the 20,000 square foot facility features 30 tons of plates and dumbbells, as well as various cardiovascular and weight training stations. The Kimsey Center also houses an entire athletic training and therapy department. Just downstairs from the weight room, West Point athletes will find an array of therapy and rehabilitation equipment, even more exercise machines, and an extensive hydrotherapy setup including a pool, underwater treadmill, hot tub, and ice baths. Here we have these NHL teams that, that have come in here the, the last four or five years, many of them from some of the top college teams in the country. Um, you know, a lot of the elite players, people like Crosby, um, you know, just come in here and are totally blown away by the, by the facility. So for our guys to be able to come up every day and, and, and take advantage of these facilities, 
um, certainly uh, is something that we're very proud of and, and I think our players really enjoy on a daily basis. Tate Rink has also served as the setting for several national television broadcasts as both ESPNU and CBS College Sports have broadcast live games from the banks of the Hudson. Yeah, it just adds a, a special dimension to each game. You know, we're lucky here that we have a, a facility with a great crowd and an atmosphere and one that's capable of hosting those, those TV games. But like I said, it just adds another dimension knowing that, uh, you know, everyone across the country is going to be able to, to watch the game on TV. It's, it's a special feeling. For us, we really see it after the fact. When we see the, the end product, we see the game, we see the footage, we see the coverage, you see all the interviews. Uh, that's the really exciting part, and, and the fact that we're able to do that uh, is definitely a bonus for our guys. The United States Military Academy at West Point is renowned because of its historic and distinguished reputation as both a military academy and a leading progressive institution of higher education. Because of the excellent education and leadership experience received at West Point, graduates are often sought out for high-level leadership positions in both the military and the civilian sector. Now in its third century of existence, West Point continues to provide hundreds of young men and women the chance to develop physically, ethically, and intellectually while upholding the principles of duty, honor, and country. The cadets are truly special people. Um, you know, on a daily basis, you get to come up here and, and uh, interact with young men who are um, potential difference makers in the world that we live in. And so, um, you know, I, I, I couldn't be more proud um, to, to be able to say that, that I'm a head coach at the United States Military Academy at West Point because, uh, like I said, um, these young men and, and women that, that, that are here at West Point, but certainly young men that are involved in our program uh, are great representatives and are truly, I, I think, the best that this country has to offer. Former Brown University captain Brian Riley is a third generation head coach at West Point. Between Riley, his father Jack, and his brother Rob, the family has led the way for Army hockey for over 50 years and have combined for almost 900 victories. I'm not here to fill my dad's shoes because uh, I don't think I could ever do that. Same with my brother Rob, but uh, you know, to, to have the opportunity to, to follow in their footsteps is something that I never dreamed uh, I would ever have the opportunity. So. Um, you know, it, it, it's again, it, it's an unbelievable honor to be associated not only with this program, but with West Point. And uh, I consider myself uh, very fortunate to, to certainly have this job, and it, it's both an honor and a privilege. Army hockey also has a rich history outside of NCAA competition, the most impressive being Jack Riley's gold medal, which he earned as the head coach of the 1960 United States Olympic hockey team. Additionally, three Army players have participated in the Olympics and other international competitions, while two other players, Dan Hynote and Andy Lundbaum, have had the opportunity to take their games to the NHL. Well, it's just a very proud moment to join Army hockey. If you look back at all of the, the successful teams and players that have come through here bef before you, uh, to join that is, is very humbling. and. Uh, you know, there's just that carrot to, to carry on the tradition of success here. Like you said, you talk about that, that history. Uh, you can't help but be moved by that. And it really does. It kind of brings you in and allows you to fall into that, that culture here, which I think is a great thing. And um, when, you, when you look at, you know, around the building and you look at the history of everything that West Point is and West Point hockey, uh, it, it really... It, it kind of takes you back. It kind of, you know, you're able to see all the things that have happened here, and it's a very impressive place. So I think that history is what West Point hockey, and I think it's what it's all about. Success on the ice while grooming the leaders of tomorrow. Army Black Knights hockey.